Those lines were a very tough act to follow. Um, if you can open up to James 2.19. James 2.19. It says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Okay, we're going to start off with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity you've given us, and thank you for letting him be able to preach your word tonight. And please bless this message that you, I, can have, I can say what you want to be said out of your word. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So... This verse is saying that if you believe in God, I believe in God, I hope you guys believe in God, you're doing well. You're doing, it says, if thou, thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. But it says, the devils also believe and tremble. Believing in God is a great starting point. That's a great place to grow up. If you, I hope you all grew up believing in God. I grew up believing in God. I grew up in church. But if you're not saved, you're still doomed to go to, hell, to go to hell when you die. That's not the finishing point. That's the starting point. If you turn to 1 Timothy 2.5, it says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. There is one God, but there's also one mediator. The only way you can go to heaven when you die is if you fully trust and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you trust, if you believe that there is one God, that's not going to get you to heaven. But if you trust that, <clears throat> if you trust that Jesus is the Savior and accept Him, you can go to heaven. If someone tells you this pulpit can hold my Bible, and I say, "Oh yeah, I believe that," but then still hold it in my hand. I'm not actually using it. It won't work for me. The, the pulpit won't actually work for its, uh, for its purpose unless you actually put the act of faith and say, yeah, this pulpit will hold my Bible, so I'm going to put my Bible here. Yeah. The only difference between, uh, a big difference between Jesus and this pulpit is that after a while, if you put more and more Bibles on it, this is going to collapse. But if you put more and uh, more sin on Jesus on the cross, He'll never collapse. He'll, he'll take it all and wash it away. Amen. If you turn to <clears throat> Matthew 4, 1 through 7. It says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the, temp when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceedeth out, by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up to the, into the holy city, and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. And Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. What Satan was doing right there was trying to tempt Jesus into performing a miracle for him. But he says, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Jesus is telling Satan that he is God. So how can you not believe in Jesus, but say you believe in God if they are one? And then there's Acts 17.23. These, for a little bit of context... Um, <clears throat> For a little bit of context, Paul is preaching to the was is preaching on was preaching to the Athenians, and he was standing on the midst of Mars Hill, and he passed by one of the devotions, and it says, "For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God." 
whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Now, they don't believe in one God, but they believe in the one God. But to tie into what the devils also believe, and they tremble, whenever the Greeks would worship a god, it's because they were scared of what that god would do. They would give devotions, and they would do sacrifices, and they'd worship that god in hopes to appease him, not knowing that, in this case, to the unknown god, they were worshiping a god they do nothing about just because they heard he exists. Now, Paul, in the end of this, actually explains to them who this God is and why he is the creator and why he should be the only God they are trusting. But they believe in the one true God, and they are trembling right now because they don't understand what they should be understanding. <clears throat> so here's the question tonight. Are you putting your faith in God alone, or are you putting your faith in Jesus and accepting him as your savior? It's good to believe in God, but that cannot, be the <clears throat> that cannot be the extent of your faith. You must follow through and believe and accept the Lord's Savior as your uh, Lord and Savior. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> We're going to end in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, and please <clears throat> bless the rest of this night. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen.